All right, welcome to day three of Let's Dance with Kalida. This is the moment where I forget everything that I wanted to say. Um, I hope everyone had a good weekend, as good as it can be. Let me know what you did. On Saturday, Mystery and I, we were able to um, go to the woods, which was nice. There was a lot of trees that had been blown down by the storms so. though. Yesterday, um, we did a little home workout, which was really nice. It was needed and um, it helps me with my posture mostly. If you're interested, I can also maybe do a little live session explaining which um, workout exercise I like to do at home, because for most of them, you don't need much equipment or you can make do with what's in house. So if you like that, if you would like me to explain my home workout next week, let me know in the comments. Hi, hello. Welcome. Um, today's topic will be hands and arms. For the longer class, I will do different movements. For this short live session, we will focus on a movement that was inspired by Bozenka. I learned this in one of her workshops a few years ago. And at first I didn't really understand this movement. It was until I tried to explain it to someone else that it clicked. So I hope this mini tutorial will be helpful for some of you. Bozenka. I think most of you know her. She's my favorite teacher and has been my mentor for a few years. She is now starting to do online live classes as well. Um, you can check her on her Facebook page, Bozenka's World. I'll put a link in here on Fridays at two o'clock in the afternoon. And uh, you will see her beautiful studio in Crete. She also has live, or not live, uh, recorded tutorials that we, I will be helping her put on her website soon. So, um, hi, hello. We will begin with a little bit of martial arts style warm up, pre warm up, because today it's Monday and normally on Monday we go to the dojang, do taekwondo and sword, and I miss it. So, this exercise, if you are at work or you have other people with you at home, can be done by anyone. It doesn't need to be a dancer. So, ask anyone who wants to to join in. It's a good de stress exercise and uh, it will give you power for the weeks that's to come. Okay, so we will start in um, what they call a horse stance. Hi, hi, welcome. So a little bit of, for those who tuned in now, a little bit of martial arts full body warm up before we start dancing. The basic stance is parallel and from there you go behind your knees with your popo, with your pelvis. It helps to think of turning out the legs without letting the feet follow. So my feet are anchored, but I turn out the knees and this brings me back. If you're a professional martial artist, you will see it in the films. Some martial artists can go all the way down. For now, we'll keep it simple. Feet parallel and bend back a little bit. If you've taken my workshops at Dance Cafe or Movespiration or even last summer, you will notice. We will do basic punches. So make a fist, both hands. The thumb should be out. And you want to hit with these knuckles. Hi, hi, Sandra. Uh, so make fists, thumb out. Aim with the first and second knuckle. For the sternum, if you do this in front of a mirror or in front of someone else, you aim for the middle. And we will be warming up all of the muscles here and rotating our upper body, warming up the core as well. Hi. Hi, Sandra. Hi, Maya. So from here, I want you to bring one hand back behind you and the elbow goes in parallel, opening the shoulder front. The other will go front to the center. This is your punch. Then you switch. I'll do it slow motion. Bringing the punching hand back, you rotate the palm up and pull behind you, opening the shoulder, elbow goes in. So from here, you switch while you exhale. So inhale in between and exhale. Show you from the side. If you want to give this extra power, Think of pushing with the feet. So it's not the arm doing the movement, but I'm throwing my rib cage a little bit in front and my arm is very loose 
until it ends. So try this. Your arm just swings and you catch the fist. <sighs> Here, and you exhale. Swing. I can feel this in all, all my arm muscles. And catch. Swing. Catch. So, let's do this. I will count first slow and then we go faster. Switch and switch and switch and switch. So this palm is down, this palm is up. Switch, palm down, palm up. Switch, elbow in, switch. Now we'll add the de-stress part. Every time you switch, you exhale, strong. Make sure you make a noise. To make it really effective, think Kung Fu fighting the movie. It can be any sound. Don't worry about the neighbors. Four more. She it. Okay. <laughs> Happy birthday, Sandra. <laughs> so this is to celebrate you. Um, Sandra is the one who requested hands and arms and Pia, um, who I met in Denmark, requested a tutorial for this uh, waterfall arms that we'll do. So let's go to dancing. Let's do a little warm up with music. Yeah. Okay, let's breathe <laughs> like a normal person. Arms up and down. In. Elbows close to each other and then you open. Turn the palms down, lift the elbows here. No sound. Uh, try closing and opening the app and it, I should be back. <laughs> if anyone else is not having sound, I'll try to reset. I'll wait and continue moving for a moment. So let's circle the arms. I'm doing my best to keep my shoulders low while I open. Shoulders and open. Shoulders and open. Two more. Hi. Okay, let's switch. Back, open, drop the shoulders, cross the arms. You have sound? Okay, good to know. Sandra, let me know if sound is back. Let's do shoulders, shoulders, shoulders. Okay, sound is there. The music is a bit low, so you can hear me. Okay, good to know. Let's roll the shoulders to the side. Alessandra, try if you stop and start again, if you can rejoin with sound. I hope, otherwise you'll hear it after if you watch the video after. I'll try to be clear. Shoulders, shoulders. One, two, three. Two slow, three fast. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. Now over the head, over the head, over the head. I'll put the music a bit louder, just in case that's the issue. Okay, we're going to interlock the fingers and push to the front, rounding the back. Shake it out. This sometimes makes my back crack. Puts things in place. Be sure to exhale, pulling in the front. From here you can rotate, rotate. Rotate and stretch out the back. And you can lean forward a little bit further, letting your head hang. This I call the sofa stretch, like you're hanging over a sofa. My favorite. From here, let's come all the way down, lifting the heels, dropping the head, shake out. Drop the heels, roll up slowly, making a figure eight back. 
back, back, elbows, 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 press. Okay, from there, try to read if Sandra's back. Arms, arms, yes, yes, arms, arms. From here, let's bring both arms behind. The elbows point up. So it's a stretch like we did with the martial arts for the chest and the front of the shoulders, which can get tight from computer work. Pull and bring the chest to the front at the same time. So pull the elbows behind you, chest front. Two more. Pull. Okay, four more. Now two. One. And two. Now the opposite. Round. And open. Round. And open. Bring the arms up. Now check. Side to side. Reaching. Roll the hands. And hands. Hands. And hands. Hands. And hands. Keeping the fingers together. Alright, let me see the comments. Okay, hi. Hi Emma, hi Anya. I'm going to show you a few of my favorite exercises I do when I'm at my desk to warm up the fingers and hands even more. So, simple, simple. I rotate my thumb as far as I can, 10 times. Eight is what I'm used to, so I challenge myself to do 10. I'm not counting now, but imagine it's 10. Then the index finger, as wide as you can. I know you cannot type when you do this. <laughs> you can add comments later or do one hand. So 10, I'm switching fingers every 10 and circling inside to out. This you can do sitting, waiting, uh, waiting for your food to be cooked. Not in the car, only one hand. Hi, hi Anya. Yes, it feels nice. Now, inside to out so switch directions this is sometimes enough to reset my hands after hours of computer work which can happen <laughs> newsletter writing if you've subscribed for my newsletter i can talk and do this then you should have received one yesterday evening it's not yet the information per class i will do those every saturday so once a week you receive information from day one with the live video as youtube um, mystery. Okay, now let's rub thumb to index finger all the way back and switch fingers. I've asked Mr. E to um, oblige and do the homework movements, one every day. Today we will record the figure eights and jewels. He asked me to have a few days to practice before I record, which is fair. And I will put our backpacker in the newsletter for day one. So if you haven't received my newsletters yet, you can subscribe, I'll put the link there and you'll have all the information for each day. So you can still practice with it later and have everything neatly in one spot because in the group it gets confusing. Shakeouts. Now interlock and simply circle 10 times if you're counting, then back. Relax the shoulders, exhale. Now, usually we have one finger that always goes up. I want to challenge you to try it the other way. So the other index finger goes on top. For most people, this feels really strange. Ah, there, Sandra has sound. Good, good, good. Happy birthday to you. I hope you'll enjoy this little video. <laughs> you made it from the bed. Most exercises can be done from the bed. Not all. We can try. Okay, shake it out again. Now make glitter throwing, <laughs> shake out the stress. If you have C nearby or a window, get it out the window. Hi, Noemi. Bienvenue. I don't speak much French, but I can say welcome. Let's go right into our preparatory movement. So the waterfall, the one I learned from Bozenka, looks like this. You might know it. 
We'll be practicing this, the reverse. Reverse. And then we'll add cheese. Okay, let's start with just one arm. Hi, hi Nomi. So good you are here. Okay. One arm. I've left my watch on. This is my left with the button, but it might be flipped. Let's stand diagonal so you can see what's happening. One arm is going around. I'll do like this, I'll do a profile, uh, frontal. I'm circling out. Now I reverse. In. So I call this in. And if I turn, it will be front. So in and front. In and front. The trick for this movement is that I when I pass my head, I bend my elbow and I flip my hand. So, I circle, there are two o'clock, I bend my elbow and it stays in place. Then when my hand opens, I come down. So it's here, elbow stays, down. 12 o'clock, one, two, elbow stays and I bend it, down, down. Make sure you drop the shoulder, lift the chest. Let's try the other side. Circling out first, sorry, to warm it up. Out, follow with your face. Now circle in, 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 in. If I turn, it becomes to my front. So I'm still parallel with my audience. If I turn like this, it's in. So now I bend my elbow when my hand reaches 11 o'clock or 10 and I flip. So I bend my elbow and I turn my hand out. I bend it but I keep my elbow up. I bend. I bend. I hope this makes sense. From the front it would look like this. my elbow up, my hand completes the circle. I leave my elbow up, my hand completes the circle. It looks more fancy and exciting than it is. Hi. <laughs> okay, let's, let's now combine it. The back arm, the arm away from the audience, circles to my front. When my arm is at two o'clock, the elbow stays and my my lower arm circles once. So arm, elbow, continue. Arm, elbow. Arm, elbow. Arm, elbow. Make your fingers long and palm is up when you come down. Other side, hand foot. You read. Hi, Jane. Front. When my arm is at 11 or 10 o'clock, elbow stays and my lower arm makes the circle. So, my palm goes up. Palm up. And then I continue the arm. Arm, elbow stays. Arm, elbow stays. Arm, elbow stays. This is a nice stretch as well. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now we combine. Yes, we still have music. One arm. The other arm. Outer arm. Inner arm. Outer. Inner. If you want to make a waterfall, it's exactly the same. Only one hand goes a little bit before the other. And continues. So my right, the outer arm, goes first, then the second, and it goes down there. One, one, two, two. Elbow, elbow, arm, arm. Elbow, elbow, arm, arm. Elbow, elbow, arm, arm. 
<laughs> okay, does this make sense? I hope so. I'll do the other side for completeness. And then we'll go backwards. So first, like we practiced, the arm goes behind you, diagonal front, elbow, bends, lower arm rotates, and you continue. Yeah. 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 It even works with one arm as a dance movement. From the front, this one's nice as well. You see my elbow stays up. Back arm. Back arm. Back arm. Open the chest. You can let it rotate a bit. Keep the shoulder down. Here. Especially here, pull it down, then the elbow bends more easily. Hi Crystal, welcome. So in big circle, lower the shoulder, elbow bends and continue. Circle and down. Circle and down. Arm, elbow. Arm, elbow. Arm, elbow. Now, one after the other. Arm. Chasing, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. You can choose if you want to have the audience arm first. So the audience arm first. One closest to you, leads, the other one follows, one, two, or the back arm first. It's a slightly different effect, the both are nice. Okay, now let's reverse. My arm goes up, and here I bend the elbow, my hand comes in, and rolls. My hand comes in, and rolls. In. And roll. Elbow stays in place. My hand goes, doesn't, it can't go out, it has to go near me and then continue. So my palm is to me and then my palm is out. To me and out. To me and out. To me and out. To me and out. Other arm. Arm swing. Down to up. So back to front, elbow bends, my hand comes inside towards me and then my palm is out, in, out, so here, I bend, I can't go here so I go in, elbow stays up and back. Make sure you make a big circle, don't make it too small, make it as big as you can, parallel to your audience for maximum effect. Let's try two arms. Turning. Lengthen your back. If this is tiring, every now and then do the sofa stretch. In and over. In and over. In and over. In and over. Now one, two. In, in, over, over. In. Chasing, one, two. So separate, one, two, together. One, two, up, up. One, two, up, up. One side. So my direction. Like a back swim. Front. 
and shake it out, shake it out. This is a workout for this area, mostly. Oh, okay, <laughs> thank you. What we are going to do now, we have two more songs. There's, there will not be a cool one, so I hope you can stretch a bit after. Um, I want to do one song, this with a shimmy, to challenge the brain a bit. And then a very short song where I repeat the three movements that we have done up till now, which was the backpacker, the jewels, horizontal, vertical, and waterfall, hands and arms. This is a workout <laughs> because I'm out of breath from all the arm swinging. Let's do it with shimmies, waterfall arms. Nice. Thank you, Irina. Thank you, Noemi. Thank you. Oh, hi, Naomi. Waterfalls with shimmies. Um, I'm going to do an Egyptian style shimmy, but you can do a hip shimmy too. Works with both. This is just the one that's most relaxed for you when you're standing a bit diagonal. Both of my feet are in this direction and I turn out, turn out this leg a little bit. Yes, it's opening the heart, this exercise. So important right now to give yourself energy, air. Okay, start to shimmy. Let's do just arms going back. I like the style of music. Feels like I'm in an action movie. Another side. Just shimmy in arms to get used to it. And let's try a chase. One, two, open. So my arms are almost equal in timing. And you can play with which hand you want to have go first. I did challenge you to try both. I have a favorite hand that always goes first, no matter which side I do. In, in. In, in. See, can't do it on this side. Shake it out, shake it out. So that's your homework. The waterfall arms with a shimmy. Let's recap day one, two, and three. Just to bring everything together. Tomorrow we'll be doing Veil and the combination for live will be the Hulk Smash. Maybe you will know it from my workshops. So, position yourself. One foot slightly behind the other. My weight's on the front foot. We'll start with waterfalls. Coming down. Arm, arm, arm. One, two. One, two. And the shimmy, if you want. Shimmy. I'll do slow. And waterfall a bit faster. Again. Up, up, up. Lengthen yourself. And waterfall. Let's go into our backpacker. Hip, hip. Front, front. Hip, hip. Front, hip, hip, front, hip, hip, front, hip, hip, speed it up, back, back, front. Double time. Now a jewel. Just figure eight. Figure eight, pull in. Figure eight, pull in. From the back, pull in. Back, pull in. Figure eight, pull in. Figure eight, go in. Now up and down. Up, in, 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 waterfall. Down, with a shimmy. Now let's bring it up. Nice work. Thank you so much for joining this little lunchtime dance break. Uh, 
time goes really fast. I try to keep it within half an hour, but I'm already going over. Um, so as said, thank you very much for being here. I hope you can join me tomorrow, same time, 12.30 Berlin time. Uh, we switched hours this weekend. I hope everyone <laughs> noticed. Um, and if you have any requests for Friday, that's the only day I don't have a topic for yet, let me know, put them in the comments. And uh, if you have videos of you or your homemates, or whoever you are able to contact doing the first three movements, show me. <laughs> I'll be sharing Ernst as well. Thank you very much. See you hopefully tomorrow. Bye bye.